Hey there humans, Bob here with another Marvel Avengers video, and in today's video we're going to be talking about how we've managed to break the Winter Soldier yet again. Don't forget to like and subscribe as we roll that intro. So, if you read the blog yesterday, you'll have noticed that there was a new update in the form of 2.7.1. And in the update, we saw a new boosting method to get the Winter Soldier up to 165 in just a matter of days instead of weeks. This was a welcome addition, and if you want to see more info on that, don't forget to check out my video on it. Link in the description down below. But alongside this unmentioned in the blog, a fix came along for the considerably overpowered AR cheese, which allowed you to output an absurd amount of damage with unlimited ammo and basically made the Winter Soldier the strongest character in the game with little to no effort. Now, while I did enjoy this, it was ridiculously overpowered. There was nothing else in the game that could stand up to it, and it was incredibly easy to build. Basically making any work that was done on any new gear or anything else for the Winter Soldier pretty much pointless. But don't despair, there is another method that myself and fellow YouTuber Lejeune managed to discover post-patch. And the thing is, you likely have seen this before in the form of Iron Man's Rocket Spam. If you haven't seen my video on that, make sure you check it out. Again, links in the description down below. But the TLDR of it is basically you can manipulate the weapon switching in the game and bypass any cooldowns on the weapons. Interestingly, this method when used on Bucky gives you two different types of high damage output. One, as the video is named, is nade spam, and the other one is a burst slash full auto spam. In order to execute this, all you need to do is ADS, now that's aim down sights for those that don't know, with the burst rifle selected. Then, press the trigger to fire off a burst, then swap to either full auto if you're focusing on a target in the distance or want to be precise, or switch to the grenade launcher if you're up close and you want to deal some serious AoE damage. Once you've selected the second fire option, you want to hit the trigger again and then switch back to the burst rifle and then hit the trigger again. Continue this cycle as fast as possible to melt through your enemies. Please bear in mind that like Iron Man's rocket spam, executing this trick on controller is going to be a lot harder than on mouse and keyboard. In fact, I've only been able to execute the grenade version of this on controller. But if you manage the full auto version, please do let me know in the comments below so anyone else watching this can get a bit of an idea of whether it's actually doable and it's not just my ham hands. Another advantage that PC may have as well is that you can assign this as a macro if you have software like Corsair's IQ. If you want to see the macro that I use for this spam and Iron Man's rocket spam, be sure to check out this video. And if you're looking for more Marvel Games content, don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.